Hello everybody, my name is Siobhan Williams and welcome to my show. Uh, we're talking about between art and quarantine. But let me tell you a little bit about myself first. I'm a freelance photographer here in Norman. Um, I consider myself a craftsman and an artist in that I like a creative process that involves a team. I'm usually creative, creating with someone, whether it's a portrait or a fashion editorial. I have a team of people that help me create a vision and I'm usually the art director. So when we had the quarantine and everything was locked down, I didn't have anyone to create with and I had to find my own outlet. I started with simply doing iPhone images of flowers because who doesn't like to take a picture of a flower? It was um, a nice way to create by myself and uh, create something beautiful. Uh, luckily it was springtime and that evolved also into a, um, a situation where I started thinking about the florals. I'm very interested in mixing patterns in my photography and in my, especially in my freelance fashion work. So once the quarantine was over, I decided to put together a really quick photo shoot. It was just two shoots where I combined pattern and color and floral to create images that A, featured local people, local uh, Norman and uh, metro area, regular, real people, to communicate a story about masking because I thought from the beginning that masking was going to be very important. I have a, a business of my own and I was forced to close down and I feel the way, even now, the way forward where we can open our businesses, get the pandemic under control and get back to normal as quickly as possible is going to be the mask. So how do I do that in an artistic way? I create a team, I get a stylist and a makeup artist. It was very early on so we were all masked. Luckily my business is a situation that can that's fairly easy to social distance and got the people together, got friends and family, and uh, created these images. So early on when I was thinking about the project, for me it was very important to convey the diversity of the population of Norman. I think it's important for people of every age to wear a mask. I thought it might be a little more difficult to convince the kids, so I invited Jackson and Trinity into the studio. They actually brought their own wardrobe and our stylist helped us uh, coordinate with the backgrounds that we had. And I think they're gorgeous, some of my favorites. Then I worked with a, um, a fashion stylist, Jesse Murray, who is a fashion guru of, in, her, in, in her own right in Oklahoma City. And she brought a little bit different, a little bit more um, high fashion look to the, to the project. Did her own hair and makeup. Isn't she gorgeous? You know, sometimes an art project will grow and bloom and become something even more than you ever imagined. And this shot of Kyra is one of um, the most amazing. My stylist, um, Elizabeth Wheat, amazing. She sewed all the masks and she helped everyone, brought their wardrobe, but she's really the one who put it together and uh, made it shine with my backgrounds. We had two makeup artists. One is Sharon Tab, and then the lion's share is um, Alex Ford. Both incredible, um, na nationally known makeup artists. So I was working with some pretty, pretty talented people. Um, I know how to get a team together to make me look good. So everybody wear a mask. It can be fun, it can be fashionable. Most of all, it's gonna be important. It's gonna be important then now, in the months to come, maybe even in the years to come. So come down and see the work. It's a really pretty show.